Hello there, this is Anonymous Jero here with a pop-in collective message. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be a collective reading, so this reading may or may not resonate with you. It is not time specific or sign specific, so please take the messages that apply and simply leave the rest now. <sighs> How? How did this happen? I'm actually quite stunted because I was just, you know, putting on my mic, getting everything ready, and then this happened. And I don't even know how it happened. I just found the wire like this. This is for my mic, but this is the adapter that apparently broke off for my phone. And I'm just shocked. And I'm hearing improvise, improvise. So I don't know. We're going to see. I just might have to talk a little louder until I get either a new adapter or a new mic altogether because, my goodness, um, yeah, it is what it is, right? I tried my eyeliner differently and I, I, I don't know, I think my eyes look kind of weird with the inner corners. It just looks weird. Today is a weird day. You guys had to miss me yesterday. Um... It's been a bit cray cray around here, but I said, let me give y'all a cat reading before I do my personals, which have also been piling up a little. Oh, there's a card on the floor. Randomly, it says trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay. That's the start. I want to head straight into it. So I'm not going to uh, do any oracles. I likely do oracles at the end. Okay. I'm hearing one I need to use. So that's why I was like looking for it. Anywho, moving on. <clears throat> How are you guys? Are you guys doing good? It's getting colder out here. So I'm like wearing layers and all that good stuff. Cat Tarot, which kitty is here? Queen of Dang Swords, listen, what is up with y'all? Do y'all need a hug? What's going on? I get this vibe of like, it's giving no BS kind of queen, no BS kind of person. Mm, a little intimidating. So you guys could be intimidating right now for whomever this is. Two of Cups. Okay, you're intimidating where a soulmate connection is concerned. That's why something is calling for you to have faith. I feel like somebody's guard is up here. Okay, they don't want to get too ooey gooey soft and chewy. They don't want to look too soft. They don't want to come off too like, you know, available. This Queen of Swords is just looking. And it's a very like, a little bit of a smug gaze. It's like, mm, uh-huh, I'm hearing, uh-huh. Oh, and you know, I'm getting this TikTok trend in my head all of a sudden. It's like, where? Who? You've been where? With who? Mm. For real? Oh, really? That's how you feel? And the guys be like, asking all these questions. Asking all these questions. Why are you asking all these questions? Making statements. Assuming. <laughs> It almost feels like an intimidating conversation to come. And it's like the woman's like, where? <laughs> who? You've been where? With who? And then the guy is like, you're always asking these questions, making statements, assuming. Anyways, that's what I get here. It's like, it's giving me that energy. You're very intimidating to whomever this is. That challenge is hilarious. Y'all have to go look it up on TikTok. But anyways, <sighs> Queen of Swords. With a two of cups connection. How does that work out? Let's go. Ooh, snappy, snappy. King of cups. Oh my God, that is so cute. See, a masculine is now all in their emotions, but the queen of swords is intimidating AF. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> it's giving me this energy of maybe it's been a while with the seven of pentacles. This person is like fussing around. Um, Seven of Pentacles is also a card of divine timing or, you know, 
after having planted seeds way back when the time is now you know and i get this vibe of with this king of water somebody here might want to talk about their feelings but the person that they're approaching is very intimidating king of water all these dolphins this person is reflecting on what makes them happy What does this king of water want? I've had a cat reading with this with this person coming out first before. Page of Swords, watching you, Nine of Cups, guys. The same cards, the same cards. The Page of Swords is very apprehensive, a little immature about it. And the Nine of Cups is what this person wants. This is so adorable because I feel like this energy is very strong. And it's like, I feel so much for this person, king of water. It's coming up all... It's like bubbling up to the surface, but I'm actually quite scared to talk. Do you see? This is how they are. They just sit, but this is who they really are inside. They're just a kitten. And they're like, should I say something? Should I? This person, I can't. Because they really want the Nine of Cups with you. This is wanting an emotionally fulfilling relationship, I feel, in the Nine of Cups where these two cats are sharing water. This is somebody who... Could be watching you a lot right now um if you're if you're the queen of swords in this situation what's at the bottom <laughs> oh man seven of wands the prisoners are escaping <laughs> i feel like this person is either met with a guard um confused a little bit it's like the energy shifted here and now this person is all in their feelings wanting to maybe talk about what they want the nine of cups is what i want the page of swords can be a message, could also be another person just studying them, being cautious before messaging. But whoever this is, they're in their feelings. It's very clear. Queen of Pentacles, I'm getting the same cards. Okay, this is going to talk about a third party situation. Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, King of Cups. There is somebody here who is feeling whoever this is now is feeling in lack they're searching for something the four of pentacles is a card of usually an energy of somebody holding back but in this case it's not having much somebody here doesn't have much and i don't know who the heck this queen of pentacles is but it's not the queen of swords i saw earlier this is smelling like a third party situation. Now the queen is back. Literally the exact same cards. I have to figure out. It wasn't. Which one was it? I think it was the first. I think it was the first. I think it was the first cat reading I've ever done. I saw the king of cups. The queen of pentacles. I'm getting the same cats guys. And I remember I said in that reading. This was um. Two people who are cut from the same cloth because the both cats were orange. I said something like that. Like these could be, again, family, partners, exes, whatever it is. I felt like these two were cut from the same cloth. There's a page of swords watching a queen of swords. Page of swords slash king of water. And this, this queen is back. I don't know. This is a continuous reading. This is a part two from a cat reading I did. I really wish I knew which one. Um, that is or what it was titled but with the star not the star with the strength oh man for me to say star someone oh i never noticed this someone needs to stand up for something you see how this cat is standing and squashing a mouse someone needs the courage to either speak up for themselves make a statement stand strong i feel there are multiple people in the mix but it's going to take courage for somebody to say what they want like somebody here needs to speak up i feel like they're finding the resolve and the strength to stand up to someone or something because i'm being called to look at how this cat is squashing a mouse they need to i feel like the problem is made a lot bigger than it actually is i feel like this could even be their mom like i don't know why but i'm getting that a little bit like is this their mom they gotta stand up to king of cups queen of pentacles they're not a match but they look like they come from the same community same household same something and I don't know why I keep tying it in like that but I always do when I see these two 
And I feel this king of water is reflecting a bit of an immature approach to his or her emotions when it came to that intimidating queen from the beginning, which I felt was the viewer. But you can be either one. You can either be this person who has a hard time dealing with their emotions and needing to speak up and stand up to another person. Okay. <laughs> or you're the one who is intimidating to approach. Something about a truth with the Ace of Swords being that there's this lack that I'm getting. Like somebody here with another person, they're, they're, they only have four biscuits. It's like somebody is just looking at what once upon a time maybe was of value to them, but they're questioning it. Like, why are these four biscuits ever so important to me when I'm really not happy? This is a very sad cat. They need to stand up and they maybe need to explain to another why, where their unhappiness stems from, that this is not cutting it for me. There's this real sadness with just the four biscuits that are there. It's like, I'm not happy here. I don't really want this. Like, I'm getting that. Tell me more about the strength because this strength card is going to tell me a bit more as to what somebody needs to come up for, um, what they need to stand up about. Like, this is speaking their truth, standing up for what they want explaining how they're unhappy approaching an intimidating queen of swords man or woman again i'm looking at the box and i'm seeing this cat somebody here is very scared to approach another person but i feel like they will or they're just like again watching before they come in but i feel there's there's always whoever this other energy is they're around they're relevant they keep remaining relevant because this reading is literally repeating itself so I think it was the first cat reading. You'll you'll see by the thumbnails, honestly, because <laughs> if I use this deck, I will put a cat thumbnail. Same about strength. Somebody here needs to stand up to someone. I can feel that. Two of Pentacles. Ooh, this is a new card I've never seen. This is a Five of Cups. Oh man, yo, yo, <laughs> sorry, I react when things hit me. This person has gone back and forth about standing up for themselves for months, years. The Five of Cups is showing me a calendar. I don't know if May is of significance, but I really feel this is somebody who has come to a certain conclusion maybe emotionally that they haven't acted on with the two of pentacles this is how this person was dilly dallying it's giving me like futzying it's like when you want to speak up like let's say a, a child right goes to the teacher and they have to let them know like you know can i excuse myself for the bathroom <laughs> but they're petrified of going forward because that that teacher is very intimidating or that teacher doesn't let people go to the bathroom very often and i'm just getting this like uh teacher it's giving me this like eh, eh, like i don't know if i should ask that's the energy it's like uh eh, should i tell them should i no touch and this person could have been like this for months now the five of cups is emotional disappointment it is grief this person has dilly dally with the two of pentacles um there's a lot of instability, might even be financially or emotionally, that was bred in this person having the months go by without speaking up for themselves. It's like this strength or this courage to actually follow through with how they feel or speak up with what... I don't know. This is telling me them not really explaining themselves or standing up or making a clear choice or vocalizing it i don't know for me it's more about vocalizing it in this card because this cat is kind of like roaring right i feel like they haven't vocalized it the color blue is also that of the throat chakra i really feel somebody needs to speak the f up and just stand up to somebody that they're very nervous in standing up against perhaps Tell me more about the strength card queen of water look ah Aww. okay so part of what they're speaking up about is um their match for some of you these two are different races or just maybe something about them is different whether it's race religion 
culture, location, industry they work in. I don't know. But this is a great cat. This is a um, an orange cat. But it's the king and queen of water. These two love each other. Now the queen is asleep. <laughs> it's giving me the same energy of unbothered of the queen of swords earlier. With the ace of pentacles, somebody here has an opportunity from the divine to start anew. But it requires speaking up. This person really watches whoever this is. Like, I'm just getting this very, you know, the song, um, every move you make, dun, dun, every dun, 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 I'll be watching you. Dun, 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 dun. Isn't that the police? It's giving me that song. Like, I'm getting chills too. Every rule you break, something like that. Every dun dun dun, every dun dun dun, I'll be watching you. Okay. Someone who's in love. Um, and they have a mass of soulmate energy, which we saw. I feel this Queen of Cups turned into, turned into the Queen of Swords. Yo, judgment. These cards falling like this is no coincidence. Give me a second. Oh man. I'm seeing the Ace of Wands. <clears throat> me and my damn nails again. But I'm seeing judgment. I don't feel this is gonna go smoothly <laughs> just by how this group here reacted I don't feel it's gonna go smoothly tell me what else do we need to know about the strength somebody here needs a strength to walk away eight of cups with the high priestess their spirit is telling them their emotional it's like they're they're already drained emotionally which card is this Oh man. Oh. Give me one second. I feel like this person has gotten into an entanglement in a way where the longer they took to speak up for themselves, the messier things got. Okay, I'm not even sure which of the wands this card is, but it's giving me this vibe of like this person got entangled. Now, whether it's, oh, I now have X amount of things to do before I can actually, I don't know if this person even is giving me this energy of somebody who made excuses so they wouldn't have to stand up for themselves. It's giving me this vibe of like, well, if I have to do this or if I'm so busy doing that, I, I can't face this person somebody has been avoiding facing a person it's really that it's really that simple this gives me the energy of a mother or a father they don't want to face yeah they don't and, and i've been here searching high and low for these cards or for this book and it's a very chaotic um scatterbrained energy even i feel off balance halfway through cards flying this person doesn't want to face this, whoever this is, at all. At all. But it's the only way. This is the Nine of Wands. It's the Wounded Warrior card. No matter how worn down you may already feel, it might be time for you to guard your own territory carefully. You're safe. You have a nice, sturdy wall of protection around you. That said, it's not a time for complacency. I can't make it up. It's not a time for complacency. It's a time for courage, persistence, and great strength. What did we get? The strength card, okay? You're close to having everything you want, but remain on the lookout. I really feel this is somebody who, they were so scared of standing up for themselves. Um, and I feel that they've entangled themselves in other things, in not speaking up about what they want, acting out on what they want, but they, they, they can't remain complacent. 
If this car was in the reverse, there's no question that you're entirely comfortable where you are. However, that could be the point of being unyielding, inflexible, and obstinate. Now's the time to try flexibility and a bit more openness. Let go of your control before you get tangled up in it. I'm telling you, I feel like they already are. It's like this person is it's giving me the energy of somebody who just wanted to keep the peace at their own expense, really. And I don't know why, but somebody is intimidating to them. That Queen of Swords can even be somebody that stands in the way of them having the Two of Cups connection. But it's caused them a lot of like emotional grief and unhappiness and even missed opportunities before. You see how all these bowls are empty. This is somebody who someone got in the way of them having emotional fulfillment. And it's purely because they didn't want to start drama. I want to get more on that. Who is this person that stands in the way? It really feels like a parent energy. What what is the dark side? What is the dark side of this person situation that needs like a breakthrough? Somebody here could pop up every time they need money. Again, this could be it's giving me pop up energy and money. This is uh it's a card that says <clears throat> I will continue to pop up like an unwelcomed friend. As I said, this could be a parent. This could be family. This could be, you know, a sibling. This could be an ex-partner. This could be baby mom, baby dad. Whatever it is, it's somebody that pops up when convenient. The card says it's always been about the money for me. And a queen of pentacles is the energy of somebody who is what? Looking for the biscuits. I felt this energy before in the other reading. It's like it's about the biscuits for them. And this is somebody who, in the instability of being about the biscuits, they dilly-dallied in what? Speaking up for themselves. And now, it's like they can't get complacent because the more they get complacent, the more time goes by. Those months were significant. I've never seen that card before. You know what I mean? It's kind of like somebody here... As time progresses, they've remained complacent. They keep an eye on what and who they want in the Page of Swords. Now they're all in their emotions. This is not somebody who is pentacle-based anymore. It's giving me all they think about is the emotional matters. And this is not somebody who's about emotional matters at all. They're dealing with a person. The individual here um, <laughs> that they have to stand up to isn't isn't about the things that they're interested in and i feel whoever they're dealing with is fast asleep like whoever they want is fast asleep one of these cats who reflects a match in the other is asleep and not by oh they're unawakened no they just don't care like this is a cat that's like okay snooze you lose you know what i mean yeah i told you karmic friends and our family are involved heavily involved this is somebody who has family getting in the way of love and the longer they take even that book says they can get complacent here because they will get entangled the longer they take to stand up for themselves the more uncomfortable the more unhappy the more complacent they get it's like <laughs> they'll just create this web for themselves where they get stuck I don't know if whoever they're dealing with is kind of like corrupt. It's like people who maybe think they're above the law even. I get that energy a little bit. Very strange. So what is this person to do? Are they gonna... I need conclusions for the viewer. Are they gonna have the strength to stand up for themselves? The Nine of Wands isn't somebody that gives up though. You can see this <laughs> cat trying to undo the entanglement here. What do I need to know about the outcome of this reading for whoever is relevant, please? Three cards. Or less. Very specific. We have a flipper. Five of Swords. Aww. Five of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. 
I see an unexpected form of communication coming through. I feel that whoever the um, Queen of Cups is, which could very well so be my viewer here, um, the person who is asleep or, in, or like basically slept on this situation in terms of I don't care anymore, there's like this energy of being unbothered, whoever that person is. Like I feel like you've turned your back on this situation by now. I see this energy as well of a distance being created in a community. Okay. Um, it's almost giving me like someone turning their back on another. And I feel like it's this person. Whoever is who got entangled, they're distancing themselves physically. They've already emotionally distanced themselves from the community before. And I also feel this, this coldness from whoever they need to approach. The Five of Pentacles of this deck, I, I, which I loved as well, and I can't remember if it came out in that other reading. I have to look up. It's like, I said it, it relates to that song, Love Will Keep Us Alive, which not having much, but I have the riches of the soul in this partnership. So somebody could be getting you see how surprised this cat is as surprised as i was to find my mic cap looking like this i think something is going to surprise another person um in terms of communication five of swords is also a manipulative energy but i don't feel like it's working the energy of this cat is very strong in this card it's um, disappointed. Knight of Pentacles. This is somebody who wants to eat at your table instead. <laughs> it's like, can I sit at your table now? Because, um, Ooh, it's so just like I just get this heavy sense of disappointment and sadness, guys. Like they're turning their back on people who probably got too involved here. Okay. Um, there could even be like blame games, blame shifters. I see somebody with like a heavy heart and that four of pentacles sadness coming back around. I feel somebody just wants to belong somewhere that can feel like home like when i see this cat coming to this table knight of pentacles is an offer being made um it might not be much okay because i i get that vibe with the five of pentacles this is somebody who feels left out of a sense of belongingness and i and i'm feeling it heavy it's to me a lack of belongingness um because i feel people have turned their back on this person as well time could have gone by where um, karmic energies that they've dealt with no longer feel the same but they will pop up like you know it's giving me pop-up energy for money somebody here could have used another person for money and money alone like i'm getting that here it's like the ghost from the past will pop up for money but there's so much emotional distance where that community partnership friendship whatever it is or family situation is concerned it's just too much uh disappointment here this person is unraveling themselves from that situation. A mess they've caused themselves, I feel. And they want a partnership with a person where it doesn't matter what they have. This card is probably one of the most beautiful in the deck. And it's the Five of Pentacles. Um, which is a card of not having much, but having found a lot in the other. Okay. Some interpretations, though, are far cheerier, focusing on the wealth we find in love and companionship. Sorry for the lengthy pause. <laughs> I was going through this rabbit hole in this book of um, the Queen of Pentacles, which was that person. 
if it's where greed is concerned which when is it not about greed the queen of pentacles reversed upside down the queen isn't happy all her good traits seem reversed she becomes greedy and self-serving and worst of all unsuccessful the rewards are not materializing it's time to start taking care of yourself change your perspective and things will get better hmm incredibly astute and willing to keep it keep at it until the treat is out of the maze if she sounds ideal that's because she is there are the standards these are the standards to aim for it's like the somebody trying to aim for money in this case when it's a queen of pentacles i feel this energy of somebody who just wanted a person for stability and stability alone and Whoever this King of Cups is wants the Nine of Cups in a partnership. Um, I also feel this energy of feeling exiled of the community. Let me get my kipper, guys. Sorry, I feel like this reading feels like a maze on its own. Change. This person could be moving. It's time for change. Bottom of the deck, the lovers and the community. I feel... I don't know if these two are going to make a community of their own, but I'm getting this shift, okay? I really am. I'm getting this shift. And which I don't often see a happily ever after, happily ever after in the Five of Pentacles, but I do for this for this particular situation, I do. Um I, I even if this person needs to start small. I'm getting that with the Five of Pentacles. With the Five of Swords, somebody here tried to win at all costs, but it brought so much distance between these people. I really get this energy of distance amongst family, distance amongst, like, friends. Look at that. They're, they're all turning their back on each other. They're not playing together. What happened, right? I feel like somebody just feels exiled, and they're moving. they're moving forward. They have to unravel themselves from the entanglements speak up for themselves squash anything that needs to get squashed because the values no longer align what was important for one is no longer the case for another somebody here doesn't see value in pentacles anymore or whatever it's like these five biscuits will be enough to share Something about it also correlating to having faith that we can prosper together regardless because these are five stars. You know what I mean? It's giving me this energy of, well, we ain't got much, but we got hope, faith, healing, love, connection, companionship, right? I see somebody might even downsize because they're moving. I can see it in this card. This fell on the ground. And a lot has been falling on the ground. So I don't know if it's happening abruptly or yeah i really feel look i told you somebody feels exiled um with despair here this is a pub people here are warm inside this is a person outside in the cold with a dog it's just sad you know it's a sad case but this person needs to find their get up and go maybe their courage to speak to the person they want this with because i feel this person wants Maybe a new community, a new home. Like, I'm getting this energy of, yo, it's done. Like, this this is what happened. I feel these people try to one-up on each other so hard. They've created um, emotional distance amongst, amongst each other. And that's why this doesn't feel like home. They could have shut this person out. Um, maybe only when they need this person, they'll be like knocking on their door. It's giving me pop up for money, pop up for money. It's not, it's not emotionally gratifying at all. For some of this person got fired from their job. I'm seeing it here, not hiring. It's giving me rock bottom, okay, with the spare card, but it's going to change things. With the coffin, something could have even ended miserably where legalities are concerned. I'm getting so much heaviness here so much heaviness and and I'm hearing it didn't have to happen this way had this person not futzed around so long because it has everything to do with somebody not speaking up for themselves my throat chakra <laughs> time could have moved very slow too for somebody 
but it's a different experience from this person and the time they spent dealing with what they did. Yeah, I'm just getting this time. Something about that card with all those months, that calendar, a lot of time could have passed before this person spoke up for themselves. Yo. <laughs> Arguments, troubles, I'm going to put it back. And dreaming of something else. <laughs> I can't. Let me see what this person has to say for themselves. I'm happiest when I'm with you. I'm sorry I let my ego get in the way of this connection. And you're my sweet escape. I really feel somebody here just wants water. Um, this person could have had a very different lifestyle. And let their ego or their fear. Because however you look at it. Strength is a very ego card. Ego based card. Pride as well. Um, and if it's fear and needing to find the strength and courage to do something, it's still ego based because ego rules fear as well, um, or pride, right? I'm just getting this vibe of somebody coming to the conclusion of what makes them happy and they regret not doing it. I feel this person is looking at things that they either committed to. It's giving me this entanglement. Somebody here, it might take time for this person to fully unravel themselves or it took time and that's why the, the calendar stood out. Like it wasn't just something they could have just swooped on out of. It's something they've got caught up in and they're looking at stuff. I see so much regret. It's, it's here three times, my goodness. Look at this. Look at these cards. Here, hand in the face, hand in the face, hand in the face. This is somebody who just... So much disappointment in a reading just so much regret like i feel they realize something here guys they realize what a mess they have to claw their way out of right now and they're trying to be smart about it too but damn like this has to happen this is not gonna look good when this person opens their mouth what are these yo yo i love it when you take control is in the reverse with a karmic having trouble this person this control is it's giving me control tactics it's giving me this person was probably overly submissive or to the contrary trying to keep the peace or control is definitely you see how this woman is pulling on this man's tie and and here it's like this person is speaking up Something about people trying to get their way and a person finally needing to speak up is going to cause a lot of problems. But it's also going to free this person. This person just might belt out a lot that they've always wanted to say. And thank goodness if it comes to that. Because I feel this is somebody who suppressed a lot to keep the peace. Oh, yeah. And in turn, making somebody else feel bad or disappointed. I know you you deserve better than this. Wow. Wow. So coming back to the first card that I found, this situation is calling for you to have faith. Why? <laughs> I like questioning. Why was that card relevant? And I'm going to get the moonology before I'm done. Why was that card relevant? Given the circumstances. You've known each other before. I feel like this involves a soulmate of a source with past life relationship with codependency issues yes very codependent attachment whether emotional chemistry is here and a heart-to-heart -heart conversation i feel a message is coming in that's actually going to shock you about this person speaking up because they've been very page of swordsy there's a strong magnetic attraction i feel the attraction is still there and i feel a heart-to-heart -heart is coming out Maybe this person is going to explain things. It's giving me that. And it's, it's this. They're likely to explain this. How do I unravel? How far along am I to unravel? I mean, they look free. I feel like this is everything they have to kind of organize. There's one little twisty turn left in this person's pause. It's like... I just got to get rid of this stupid ball of yarn and then I can, you know, it's like, give me time. It's giving me that a little bit. Like I need to un, 
do this and yeah i feel that little explanation coming through actually it's kind of funny yeah this, this is somebody who feels like they lost it all yeah including the connection adjustments are required i can't make it up did i not point this card out they need to adjust adjustments are required but i feel there's so much that you don't know that has already transpired and so much left to reveal to you whoever i'm talking to adjustments are required and i feel like they need to work on said adjustments right now bottom it's time to take action spirit is encouraging this person to adjust themselves for a new cycle um but yeah if this is your person you're gonna hear from them soon if not already i feel like i've been getting this energy before and one of you i think said hey could we have a continuation of this reading and here it is it literally came out again <laughs> it's literally literally the exact same cards came out i don't know who it was that had asked in the comment section hey could i get a continuum of this reading I got the same players out. The Queen of Pentacles <laughs> digging for her biscuits here. The Queen of, the King of Cups who also opened my reading that that day. This is a continuum. This person is making their adjustments. I feel like there's just a couple more things. And this could be I'm hearing like bills. Like I'm getting this energy of somebody here having had certain responsibilities or bills or something. Something. Could even be work, okay? Maybe they have a contract that they need to have X amount of months finished before they can move their ass. Like, I'm really getting this energy of certain commitments that this person entangled themselves in as time progressed in them not doing what? Speaking up for themselves. It's in the strength card again. Sp not speaking up for themselves. Let them more time in this entanglement. And now it's like adjustments are required because the divine is urging them to take action for a new cycle okay <laughs> that's what it's giving yeah because four pentacles is not it guys this is somebody who's incredibly disappointed unhappy with the things they've clung to that really don't matter to them this person would be happier yeah it's a progression we look for progression this person would be happier from the four to the five of pentacles if it's with you the Four of Pentacles is holding back. It's the card of the miser. But in this deck, this, this, this cat is so unhappy. They rather have Five Pentacles, which is not much either. This is a card of hardship, right? But they don't care if it's with somebody they love. And I feel they are in love with the King of Cups. Um, this is somebody who needs to adjust. And I feel the urgency here to make these adjustments to accommodate a new life even if it's downsizing, which I'm seeing here as well. Okay, so um, <laughs> anything else? Step out of your comfort zone. They need to speak up. It's out of their comfort zone to stand up, to speak up, to make changes. It's like getting out of the status quo, North Node. This is somebody's North Node. Their North Node is with their match. Have faith in your dreams. I feel I spoke to somebody here whose faith has been dwindling. But you'll know if this is your person. Um, and you'll likely know because they either already spoke to you about these things or it's to come. Okay. So that's what I have for you guys. If this reading resonated, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time. Bye.